We're now joined by Florida A&M head coach Robert McCullough and student athletes Elijah Mays and Desmond Williams after the Rattlers' 88-78 first round win over Howard. Coach, first of all, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, if you'd like to uh, start us off with an opening statement. Well, I'm extremely proud of our guys uh, for obviously the outcome, but we got off to a great start. As a coach uh, in, in postseason play, uh, that's what you, you can't wish for more. For more. And we were, we were, it seemed like everything we did uh, was right. Uh, we made shots, uh, we rebounded the ball, we got stops, and of course, uh, it's easy to focus on the three-point shots that you're making, but when you string together stops, that's when you 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 can really uh, you know get something going, and that's what we we preach: you know, one possession at a time. That's how the games be, you know it, it should be played. And so uh, they're a very talented team, especially on the offensive end. Um, and in a doubt about that, you saw they have two players that was first team all conference. It's rare to have a, a freshman or a sophomore to be first team all conference, and especially when your team is not one of the top five teams uh, in the conference. So it says a lot about those two guys. I think they came into the tournament averaging 48 points between the two of them. And so we, uh, uh, I think it's safe to say they had momentum going into the going into halftime. Uh, they, they came back, actually took the lead, and our guys never lost a poise. They never lost a poise, they never, they never uh, began uh, pointing fingers, and I think it, it speaks to the growth uh, that, that, that we've experienced, and uh, we, we stuck to our game plan, and uh, we were able to get back in the game and, uh, and pulled it out. Open up the floor for questions. Elijah, you had a great day from the field, but more importantly, leading the team. Uh, there were times when you brought the ball down court and you knew exactly where to go. What were you seeing out there? Was it film or was it just instinct that kind of took over? Um, it was a lot of preparation. Uh, my coach and staff did a great job preparing us for this game. And uh, coach been on me all year. You know, we, we go way back and just leading and, you know, stepping up and, you know, making sure all the guys are in the right position on the court. And not just on the court, off the court as well. So, you know, I got to credit that to the coaching staff. But this is something that we've been working on as far as leadership since the off season, and uh, more importantly, this game. You know, they did an awesome job in the scout, uh, the walkthrough, um, to prepare us for this game, and to make us look as good as we did out there. So, got to credit them. And Desmond, you didn't start out being that aggressive, being that aggressive uh, on the offensive board, but you found a way to get the points in the natural flow of the game. Just talk about that, not forcing the issue of trying to be aggressive? Um, I started out the game with two quick fouls. And so I went to the bench, but when I got back in the game, it was just, I don't always have to make the wave, I can ride the wave. And saying that my teammates were rolling. So when I'm from the bench, all I'm telling them is don't, don't let up, don't take your foot off their neck. So when I get back in the, in the game, my mindset was not to. Let me come in here and score the ball. It was. Let me come in here and make sure that I keep the momentum high. If that's not scoring, it could be clapping my hands, puffing my teammates up, defensive rebounding, the extra play is all about just I I can do more I can impact the game more than scoring. And so that was my mindset. Like I'm I had to be kinda of timid when it came to certain situations with me having two early, but you know, my teammates did a great job. I mean, without them, we wouldn't be here. So it's like I just I'm just lucky to have them. Coach, great job of rallying the troops. It's a, it's a different bunch, and they found a way to be cohesive coming into the tournament. Clean slate, did that help at all? Well, it did, and I think that goes back to having won three of our last four. We had the stretch, we won uh, three in a row, and of course that began on the road uh, at Delaware State. And uh, so still winning three out of the four, we came into the tournament with some momentum. Uh, we're playing a team that we split during the regular, regular season. We're very familiar with them, and uh, they can feel the same way, but we, we felt that, quite frankly, we, we should have won both games. And so uh, we, we were as confident as we could be, and I think uh, what you see now is the, the, the senior leadership. It seems like game after game, we see uh, more evidence of that. And I can tell you, this time of the year, all over the country, uh, teams is going to win in advance for the most part. It's going to be done with upperclassmen. And so it was no surprise that uh, these two guys on either side of me, along with Marcus Barham, 
uh, that's what you had upperclassmen stepping up. And I'd like Elijah and Desmond to answer this question. Walking here, we passed the locker room where there was a much different feeling last year after the first game. Can you talk a little bit about what a year, what a difference a year makes? Yeah, go ahead. You take it. You take it. You got to go. You got to go. I don't know. Um, a year makes a big difference. Um, I feel like this time, like when I got walked on the court tonight, I had it was like filled with emotions because I remember when we walked on the court, walked off the court last year. I remember that locker room. I remember the feeling going home, the 14 hour bus ride of just crying. And you know, I'm just lucky to be here with my coaching staff and my teammates. And like this time around this year, you know, it's a different feeling. We had a different feeling coming into this to this first round game than last year. You know, we were losing. And like Coach said, we were going three of our last four, so that's momentum coming into this. So we weren't, like other people might look at us as like, oh, they're the, you know, it's an upset. But now we came in here with the mindset that we're going to beat this team no matter if it's by one or by 21. So it's all about preparation and your mindset coming into every game, especially this time of the season. So it's all about our mindset, our preparation, and just like giving all glory to God. Anthony's next uh, top seed in the conference. Uh, how you feel going into that game? Yes. Uh, uh, oh, well, um, we, we feel the same going into every game. You know, it's a matter of preparation. And um, it's just getting mentally prepared. You know, this time of the year, you know, of course, it's physical. It's, it's a lot of mental preparation. You know, and our guys, especially us being seniors, you know, we don't want to go home anytime soon. You know, we keep staying rolling. We've got a great group of guys, and, you know, we're going to fight as hard as we can, uh, not only for our teammates, but for the university as well. So, you know, we're going to give you guys our all. You know, come out with the outcome that, you know, that we want at the end, which is a W. So, you know, we're going to play hard, prepare well, and just get ready to give you guys our all. And also, it's always a, um, a plus that we played them one time in the conference and at their place early in the conference season, and we won. So there's always a plus to at least say that we, the one time we matched up in the conference, that we came away with a win at their house. So we have, we feel good about that. Uh, the it's, uh, it's, I echo uh, both of the comp statements from, from Dez and, and Elijah. Uh, we only played them once, so the, the level of familiarity is not as great uh, as, it, as it was, as it is with, with Howard. But yet, uh, when, you, when you beat a team earlier, of course, it's, it's, uh, you have so many uh, positive things that you can, you can point out. And so we'll, we'll draw from those. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think Howard, I don't know if they've lost since, since we beat them uh, back, in, back in January. So they, uh, they were number one seed, uh, very talented team. Uh, and another another uh, quality feature you see from good team, good guard play. They have, they have very good guard play. But on that night, we did a very good job of defending them so we know how hungry they're going to be. Uh, essentially, along with uh, uh, Norfolk State, this will be about the closest thing to a home home game as uh, as you can get. So we know it'll be a bigger crowd. Crowd will be against us, but it's not going to be any more so than it was. We we beat them early in the year, and so uh, we'll we'll uh, prepare uh, mentally, try to keep uh, keep our guys off their off their feet. And uh, one thing one thing we know about our team at this point that they're going to come out and compete and swing away. Gentlemen, congratulations again on the win. Uh, get some rest. Good luck in your next game. Thank you.